Good morning, I'm Tenille Biggers, your local realtor with Keller Williams Elite Partners 3. And this morning, I'm coming to you from Windermere Landing in Windermere. The address of this property is 6126 Rosiette Spoonbill. This is a Meritage community. This, this house was built in 2011 by uh, Meritage the Builder. Um, this is the thorough floor plan, T-H-O-R-E-A-U. I just did this video and spelled it wrong, so this is take two. <laughs> so it's a thorough floor plan. Um, I have a copy of it. If you would like to see it, I'll give you my number at the end of the video just let me know um, if you want to see that layout it's a two-story home I'm going to go ahead and turn you around and give you a walkthrough um, double garage here and you can see it has the nice accents it's just the carb appeal is gorgeous this tile roof all the windows and the detail and this porch is just super charming so um, let's walk up this paver driveway and walkway let me see if I can give you perspective on the depth here. Plenty of room. Um, I don't know what type of bracing is up here, but there may be an opportunity to put in uh, a swing or a couple chairs. The, the owners previously had rockers here. Super, super cute idea. And then walking in, um, I'll tell you a little bit about this house. So it's 3,068 square feet. It's four bedroom, three and a half bath. Bedrooms are upstairs, lots of living space downstairs. So when we first walk in, there are, there are pieces of furniture here. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this space. Use your imagination of what's here. This was previously set up as a sitting room. This is a beautiful space for um, just that, a beautiful uh, or a, a formal living area. The lighting is nice. The light fixtures are beautiful. The crown molding is stunning. These arched um, entryways into the space. It's just lovely. So maybe, Maybe you need a home office. There's a home office in the back and maybe an extra, extra space to work if you are a family of two who work from home. Um, just think about that space. There's so much you could do with it. And then this is the formal dining room. The owners, of course, this is a small table that we just have some information on for folks who are visiting the home, but this is a very big space. I have the measurements. I'm happy to get them to you. Just let me know what you need. The previous owners, or the, the current owners, had a very large table in here and there was room to move around it. That's always something I look at in the home. <clears throat> when you have a large table, when you put it in place, are you going to be just having to shimmy by or is there space to get around? This is a large closet since this week I'm just uh, really showing you closets. <laughs> it's important though, we all know it. Again, in Florida, we just don't have many basements here in Winter Garden, Wintermere. I have not seen a basement yet. If we had Weston to Claremont, uh, we can find some basements over there, but when I say some, I mean, just a few. They're rare. So this storage is a really big deal and it goes back underneath the stairs. Um, let's see, let's, let's do downstairs in this home and I'll show you outside and then we'll go upstairs. The kitchen has such neutral colors. Just to put it in perspective, you've got cream cabinets, crown molding on the top of the cabinetry, crown molding at the ceiling, the backsplash is a glass tile, and I'm going to see if this does any kind of justice if I zoom in. Um, it's the warm tones, which goes so nicely with this warm granite countertop. The hardware that you have in the home is pretty, it's like a, an antique, what is that, maybe an ant, antique type, it's almost like a black that it's, that it's uh, up against, which looks great with the black flex and the granite. So they've just done a really nice job of choosing the colors in this kitchen. The pantry is something to note. This isn't always something I do is open the pantry door, but you have a nice pantry here, and I just realized I didn't have a light on. Um, it is a walk-in pantry. And again, very important, the storage. This is a large home with a lot of square footage. Again, 30, 68 square feet. And you want to make sure you have room for all the food you need for your family. And um, sometimes we see larger homes that have lots of bedrooms and square footage and small pantries. So this is nice to see. Now, this is a private office back here. Think about your family's dynamic. How could you use this space? And I'm going to back up and, and give you a perspective of the entryway. It's really pretty from the kitchen and wide open. So if you have young children, maybe that's a great place for them to have their, their play things. If you have older children, maybe this is a great place for them to have their workspace for homework. Um, and we're gonna step outside and see this view in just a minute. It is beautiful. You have a little breakfast nook here, and by little, it's large enough for probably four to six chairs at a table, so little is probably not the right word. Um, it's a very comfortable space to have your daily meals if you're not one to sit in the formal dining room. It's open to the kitchen, 
which is wide open to this large, great room. Look at this. So plenty of options. There is, the cable is set up on that wall. Um, if you wanted to set it up differently, you also have a big wall over here if you do set your living room up, room up around the TV. Um, some of you are like, Tennille, who doesn't do that? But some of us don't watch TV all the time. Yes, our living room is set up around the TV, but still. <laughs> Um, you have a half bath downstairs. It has this door exiting to the back patio, which is really nice um, to have that exit entry. The garage is right behind me, by the way. No sliding doors. Look at these, these doors that open up. They are really nice. Um, hold on just a second. I should have had this unlocked before I came back here. And look at the depth of this. This is all under roof, by the way. And you know, I look at this, when those nice thunderstorms come through, they last for, what, five minutes, enough to make you run inside? Well, here you can sit back, enjoy the storm passing. Look at this view. You get to enjoy all of this and watch nature um, straight from your back porch. You don't have any bugs bothering you. Um, I'm trying to get the screen door open and I'm obviously struggling with it. Back here in the backyard, you have some fruit, plate, fruit trees. The owners have introduced me to what's called a June plum. Um, I won't spend too much time back here because I want to show you upstairs, but I want to point this out. This is a June plum tree. They're edible. It's like this um, really powerful sour fruit. And by powerful, I mean it's got some great properties that are very healthy. So I'm excited that they've introduced me to this and shared this with me. Um, Google it, June plums. Look down here, you can see the wildlife. Isn't this pretty? And then at night, when we get back to normal and Disney is doing their thing, you have fireworks views out here from multiple theme parks. So when Disney and Universal are back up and running, you can hear and see them from here. So just imagine this being your backyard. You have multiple fruit, fruit trees. Um, let's go back in. You can see the texture. It's very pretty. Meritage builds a nice house. One thing about Meritage, and this is something you might want to Google and look up as well, um, their energy efficiencies. So, um, and their attics, the things that they put in place to make the home more energy efficient, the things that they put in the blocks of the home. And of course, if this is the home that ends up being right for you, you would have um, somebody look at all this for you so you can see the details. So your inspector would be able to dig in and say, hey, you know, all these things really are in place. Um, but Meritage is known for running and building an energy efficient focused um, construction home. Um, okay, I'm headed upstairs. One thing I did, want to point out is the wrought iron on the handrails, on the risers and the land, the steps on the landings, um, on these stairs, just done very nicely. Let's start with the master over here to the left. So when you come upstairs, it's a split floor plan. You have three bedrooms to the right, master to the left. Immediately, look at this laundry room. <laughs> Does anybody else get excited about a good laundry room? You have a lovely utility sink. Look at that, storage underneath. Normally you just see utility sink. You've got room for a folding table. You've got all this space to dry and hang clothes. Um, and then you're in the master suite here. So you have two closets. This one is very large. This is not doing it justice, my walkthrough. Large master suite overlooking the back view that I showed you. Just think about that, oh my goodness. Lovely. And then your second walk-in closet over here. This space is very well planned out. Nobody should be fighting over um, closet space here. The master has dual vanity, so hello. Sink over here and sink over here. Step in shower and then your water closet, of course. Let's go over to see the other bedrooms and then I'll let you guys go. Um, over across the hall you have Three bedrooms, two baths. So this is a Jack and Jill. This bedroom right here, closet. And then we're in the Jack and Jill. Um, this is a personal preference. I gotta tell you, I love a good Jack and Jill bathroom. So on this side, you have access to sink. This other room has access to the sinks. And then you've got a full bath shower combo over on this side. This is the other bedroom over here that connects. And then finally, walk around the corner. Um, if I was to take a left here, this is the bedroom we were just in, just to put it in perspective. I'm going to take a right instead, and this is where you have a bath. So this almost feels like a master or a second master because you've got all of this in this one kind of corridor. You have a step-in shower, vanity, and then you've got your bedroom over here. So 
All right, well, I will let you guys go. I'm so glad that you joined me this morning. Again, this address is 6126 Rosie at Spoonbill Drive. This is in Windermere Landings in Windermere. Um, any details you want on the home, measurements, more details on the floor plan, like I mentioned, any other questions that come to mind, please let me know. My number is 850-628-4455. You guys have a great day. Bye.